Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Trials Rising and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest track to get a diamond medal on in the entire game. This will unlock an achievement or trophy for you, as well as unlock all of the diamond split times in the game if you do want to go chasing after diamond medals. For those unaware, traditionally Trials has had bronze, silver, and gold medals on every track. If you did exceptionally well, you would get a platinum medal. And now they've taken it a step further and added diamond medals, which require near perfect runs. You are watching an example of a diamond medal. At the time of recording, this is the only person who has a diamond medal on the first track in the game out of the 45,000 people who have beaten it. I've scoured the leaderboards in the game and it seems that on average about 0.01% of people are good enough to get a diamond medal on any given track. But there is one track that is far easier than any other in my opinion and based on the leaderboards with an average diamond medal rank of 10% of people. So that is the Power Bike skill game unlocked at around level 50. Now the skill game itself is pretty basic. You are given a bike with a limited amount of power and you can use that power to propel yourself forward. But for the most part, you're going to want to instead use your rider's lean, balance, and the natural landscape of the map to make as much progress as possible only resorting to using your gas when absolutely necessary. As you can see in the gameplay, the power meter is on the far kind of left side and in the first 75 meters of the track itself, I barely used it and whenever possible, I try my best not to use it. Now obviously there are moments where you need to, for example uphill climbs or if you get stuck and there are a couple of great general rules to follow but everything kind of depends on your general skill and how lucky you get with a couple of your bounces as well. Now the requirement here for the diamond medal is 950 meters, which sounds like a fair bit of distance, but as someone who can't even get close to most of the diamond medals on the normal tracks, I was actually able to max this one out and get over 1100 meters, which is the maximum in this mini game. Not only was I just able to, I'm actually very consistent at it and for that reason I think this one's going to be by far easier than any other diamond in the game. So if you're looking for that achievement or trophy, if you're looking for the diamond split times, this is definitely where you're going to want to focus your attention. And although it is the easiest, it is by no means easy. You will still need to probably work through all the tutorials if you're new to the game. You'll need to learn the ins and outs of leaning as well as the physics. You have to make sure that you are using your boost when it is most useful. So for example, if you're uphill climbing, you wanna use it right as you begin to slow down to continue your momentum up the hill. You never wanna use your gas when you're moving backwards, for example. You can also brake in this, which it does might not seem like it, but I do actually tap on the brake every now and again to slow down, to actually increase my speed later on when I go down a hill uh, more gently than if I were to have not, not used my brake. Now, keeping your flow through the track, exceptionally important, making sure you use your uh, boost when it is most useful, also extremely important. The other thing I would say is that sometimes in this mode, it is beneficial to use your boost while you are airborne. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you might want to just use it and kind of aim diagonally up. And if you just pump on the little bit of uh, energy, you'll actually kind of soar through the sky instead of just speeding up on the ground. Also, by no means am I doing this perfectly. I can actually see how many places I could improve on in another run. But I'm able to get to that 950 we were previously talking about with about 20% left in my tank. And I'm able to get to the 1100, which is the finish line, with probably about 5-10% to 10 left in my tank as well. So there's definitely room for air, and a perfect run would probably leave you with almost a third of your tank left. Uh, but if you are new to the series, there's definitely a couple of good habits you are going to want to make with your flow. Right here is where we reach the 950 meter mark, which is actually where I believe it gets the most difficult. And uh, at this point, you can bail out or you can try to finish the track in order to earn your diamond medal, which will be presented to you after you finish. 
And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is going to be the easiest, best way for you to grab a diamond medal in Trials Rising. And uh, the second easiest one, in my opinion, is probably the Bomb Bouncer skill game. Uh, where it seems like it has about a 3% rate of diamond metal achieving. Thank you guys for watching. A special thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Double O and hopefully I see you guys soon. Peace.